Kenya Power Managing Director Kenta Roos says the utility firm has blacklisted all farms that were irregularly pre-qualified to trade with the company. The MD who appeared before National Assembly's Energy Committee told legislators that 349 contractors forged documents to be enlisted in the Kenya Power database to provide labor and transport services. He also says that the company has since invited the Directorate of Criminal Investigations to investigate the procurement scandal in which 18 staff members have since been sent home. Let's listen in. Perhaps what we will do is to intensify the publicity that we are carrying out as an organization. Then lastly, there was a question about uh, supplies of concrete poles. Mr. Chairman, we have about 13, 13 or so companies that uh, manufacture poles, concrete poles. Locally, I do not have the full list at the moment, but it's something we can avail to the Secretary. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, sorry for having kept. Fire. Sorry, Chair. I I have not answered the senior counsel. He's on phone. No, no, no. I'm not on phone. I'm just uh, living uh, bedroom. Senior counsel uh, Muturi Kano had a few concerns. One of them was the impact of transformers on connectivity, but more specifically, uh, wanting to know.